guys welcome back to my channel my name is savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our not so berry challenge i am so excited for this this is my first video back after taking a little break for christmas and ugh, i'm so excited i'm especially excited because it's this let's play as well dare i say i like it better than legacy right now but yeah guys today we're doing not so berry and i hope that you guys had a great Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a happy holiday. If you don't celebrate anything, I just hope you had a great week. It feels so good to be out of school. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch or you don't watch my streams, uh, last week we got a raid from Lil Simsy and that literally made my entire year. It was like the cherry on top of, a <laughs> of an okay year, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just so excited and I want to shout it and share it with you guys because it was such an exciting moment for me. What else is new? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I don't know why. It's been, I think it's only been like a week since I last uploaded, but still. I miss you guys and I'm so excited to start pumping out content for the rest of the four weeks of my break. In the last episode, I asked you guys what you thought about Luke. Shoot, his name's Luke, right? Oh. <laughs> it's been that long. I'm gonna have to refresh myself and I'll also refresh you guys as we go. But a lot of you guys like him and I'm really excited. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go along with him, see how things go when they start being romantic together. But yeah, I do have a peach vibe Celsius and I have drank in half of it already because I needed it. So no ASMR today, but cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, here we are back in the Berry household. I'm so excited to be here. You guys don't even know. I feel like I say that in a lot of my videos, but that's just how I feel. That is just how I feel. All right, it is a Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Andy is going to do an energized workout. Good for you, my darling. What do we got on the calendar? What's coming up? Today is the talent showcase, and then next day after that, we've got prank day. So that's perfect for uh, mastering that, that mischief skill. Dude, I have not played Sims in so long. It's been a little bit over a week and like, I feel like I forgot how to play. I need to get back into it. I need to get back to my groove. But yeah, we've got um, a little while until her birthday, so that's good. And one of you guys in the comments made a really good point that um, in the yellow generation, which is the third generation, they need to be best friends with the mint generation, one of their grandparents. So we need to get a move on on having kids, definitely, because Andy still needs to be alive by the time the yellow gen is born. Andy or Luke. I guess we'll see. And let's have a look at her career stuff. She is a serum sequencer level four. Oof. Level four. I don't know why I thought we were higher than that, but we've got work in two days. We already had our breakthroughs. All right. And then our relationships with Luke is so good. Alice is great. Alice is our best friend now, which is um, it's pretty dope. Let's see what else we got going on. Ah, uh, yes. Gavin and Uku we hate because we needed that for our aspiration. Oh, how's our aspiration going? Okay, so we just need to achieve level six mischief skill. And uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, we're at level three. So clog three different drains, perform voodoo five times, achieve level 10 mischief skill. Okay, voodoo. I think we get the voodoo doll at the humor and hijinks festival, if I remember correctly. I know that we can buy it from, can we buy it from build and buy mode? I don't remember. I do not remember, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> She's feeling really uncomfortable now. So I'm. you can stop. You don't have to keep going. Let's have some lunch, which we want to have. Tofu tacos sounds good. Filthy in here. You know what I realized? We don't have a trash can. I swear, I thought I thought we had one, but I guess not. And I know that we have a mint trash can, so. All right, here's the mint trash can. I'm just gonna put it right here. Aw, yes. Oh, that's so cute. Little calendar with the broom and the trash can. Love that. All right. So, Andy, vamos comer. Comemos. I don't know, guys. My Spanish is really, really rusty, but I'm working on it. I'm. That's something that I'm, like, trying to get better at is speaking and understanding Spanish. 
I've always wanted to learn it and I've taken like so many Spanish classes, but it has never stuck. And I feel like the, the perfect way to learn a language is to speak it and have people speak it to you. <laughs> My grandpa has been speaking Spanish to me a lot lately and it's helping. He'll say something to me and I'll be like, trying to decipher it in my head and then I'll try to respond in Spanish as well ah, so that's cool I don't know why you guys so many oh she loves eating in the pool I think it's so cute and so many of you guys commented about me singing Hamilton in the last episode you guys have no freaking idea how much I love that soundtrack oh it just like hits me in the heart oh my gosh it's Alice is she coming over are you gonna come visit us we do have a day off I wonder if she will let us perform mischief on her. Wait, who's that? Mortimer. Mortimer, what are you wearing? You look like a very hip guy from far away, and then I realize that it's you, and you- Okay, you're just- Apparently you're just a vibe in this, uh, this save file. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> Love that. Oh, he's probably learning from Alexander. Alexander is always a hype beast in my Let's Plays. <laughs> I don't- I don't understand. Um, oh, shoot, the receptionist is hitting on us. Oh, that's so awkward. Oh, work is gonna be horrible now. This might be completely random, but I think you're really attractive and I want to get to know you on a romantic level. I'm sorry, Abby, but I really do not feel that way about you. Like, not even a little bit. Is our door locked? Let's go ahead and unlock, uh, invite her in. Hello! Come in, come in! Why can't you invite her in before you clean the counter? I don't want to understand. <laughs> oh, you guys, I missed playing Sims so much. I am just in my element right now. So happy. I'm so zen. <laughs> also, I know that I'm not very mint today, but like, I'm seriously running out of mint things to wear. <laughs> so I'll try to incorporate a little bit here and there. But yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and banter with her a little bit and then do some mischief, mischief with her. So good to see you, girl. So good. Guess what happened, by the way? Abby, that's her name, right? Abby? Yeah. Abby, the receptionist, texted me today and told me that she likes me. Yes, very awkward, I know. Oh, why are you embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed. Oh, if we instill her with false confidence, will that make her not embarrassed? Ooh, ooh, prank. Wait, it's not prank day yet. Plan to wrap bacon around everything. $50? Plan to lure a llama. Oh, it's because it's because they're partners in crime now. How's that mischief still going? I'm coming along anyway. Okay, level four. Oh, I wonder. What's a very quick way to get your mischief skill up? Wow, that's weird. The internet says that trolling the forums is the fastest way to get the mischief skill up. I don't know why, but that just surprises me. Hey, um, Alice, let's let's take a photo together. Uh, we need photos on our walls. Our house is looking so very bare. Let's see. Oh, who is it? Oh! Shoot, he's inviting us to the talent showcase. Yeah, yeah, I think we should go. Oh, how can we? It usually asks us if they, we want to invite anyone. I was going to invite Alice. Maybe we should invite Alice and her husband. What do y'all think? Even though her husband seems kind of like a dud, he was very strange at the dinner party we had. I don't know. Maybe we should give him another chance. I'm all for second chances. All right, pause. You know what? I think I need to create a club for easy uh, access to our friends. <laughs> um, if this is your o the only Let's Play that you watch of mine, I like to make a friends club so that whenever I go places or I want my friends to come over, I can just start a club gathering rather than clicking on each person, inviting them over, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's just not the vibe. So we got Alice, Eric, I think. Yeah, we could put Luke in there. We can put Theo since you guys really seem to like Theo. And let's do Amari as well. Do we have any other spots? No, we don't. That's fine. That works. <laughs> Knox. Oh, gosh. 
He was so embarrassing in the last episode. I hope he does more embarrassing stuff. <laughs> Invite only. Um, ooh, you know what we can do? Oh, here we go. Social. Be mischievous. To clubs. To friends club. Okay, and then... Let's just be friendly to everyone, too. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start a gathering. And... Yes! She's in my favorite outfit of hers as well. Let's go ahead and say what's up. Hi, Theo! <laughs> looking good, looking good! <laughs> and hello, Luke! <laughs> Talk about grilled cheese? Why? Okay, sure, let's do that. Oh my gosh, I love them. Oh, and you guys were asking me who created him as well so you could find him on the gallery. Let me try and find him for you. Okay, here we go. Raymond, Theo Raymond. This is by, or he is by jams underscore mommy. And she used the hashtag simsav so you can find him in there too. Oh my gosh, she already has 13 downloads. I love that. <laughs> yeah, super cute though. All right, let's resume. We need to turn on the romance with him today. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know how we should go about this. Oh yeah, remember in the last episode, he, he told us that he likes red hair. Oh girl, get over yourself. Evil mermaid bartender. Are you enjoying that creme cola? If I'm being honest, though, I freaking love cream soda as well. I don't know if that's, like, what it's supposed to be, but it's one of my favorite sodas. Oh, let's talk about Dreams with Amari as well. Arogaba. He's so handsome. And he's wearing mint. Dang. They would make a really cute couple as well. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm just so attached to Luke already, though. Okay. Well, this was kind of boring. I'm going to head home because there's, like, a lot of things we need to do. And we don't have time to just, like, socialize. As soon as we get all of our goals done, though, that's all we're going to be doing is socializing. All right. She's just need a little bit of fun, and she's kind of stinky. So I say we have ourselves a bubbly bath. Wait, I wonder. I wonder if taking a bubble bath as an adult also increases. No, 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 no. This is not happening. Our girl just got abducted. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I swear she freaking gets pregnant. Oh, our girl is getting freaking abducted. I'm trying to get a good pic. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Through the palm trees? Shoot. I mean... Pretty fancy if I do say so myself. But okay, back to freaking out about the abduction. I guess let's see if something happens. Holy cannoli, you guys. Wow. I was all, let's go take a bubble bath. And The Sims was like, let's not. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm gonna speed up time. Crazy. Alien baby, imagine. Imagine, imagine the Rose Gen being a freaking alien. She's back. Hi! How you feeling? Very focused. Aliens awesome for me abducted. Seeing all that amazing alien technology truly boggles the mind. What is it? What is it? Did you guys see that? Did you? She just freaking was thinking about love and then her belly was glowing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We can't take a pregnancy test, but... Okay, I'm tripping out. Let's get the mail. Um, ooh, please tell me you guys saw that. Okay, let's see what we got. What we got? Mm, oh, yes, more elements. Pause. Don't waste any time. <laughs> Down to the secret lab. Pull the lever, crunk. Okay. Cool. We already have all that. What does calling the Geo Council about a sample do, I wonder? She's calling at almost 1 a.m. Nice iPhone. What's that? The iPhone 11? Oh, it is. Nice, girl. Gotta get that upgrade, though. You feel me? 
Oh, so if you call the Geo Council about it, it'll tell you what the element is. Well, that's helpful. That sounded very sarcastic, but I was being serious. <laughs> Let's see if her fun goes up while she's taking this bubble bath. Oh, she updated her status in the bath? Her fun is not going up. All right. Well, I guess it's only children then. What a cute- Oh my gosh, Andy, you're posting photos in the bath? I bet it was one of those, like, pictures of her- her legs and her toesies in the bubble bath, you know? You know those pics? Look at me being a creeper taking photos through the window. Can I not? <laughs> oh, I just want to know if she's pregnant or not, you guys. I'm, like, low-key freaking out. All right. Let's practice analysis, and let's listen to Jazz. Get her in the freaking focused mood, you know? Ooh, we got a new element. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Dang it, didn't go in though. Fozone, more like Frozone, am I right? I'ma buy, we have some money, so I'ma buy her a little shelf for all these extra elements, cause there's like too many now. Um, shelfy shelf. Hello. Maybe it's time we expanded the lab a little bit. Hmm? Moving on up in the world? Oh, yeah, that was something that I wanted to do. Um, uh, make her a fancy lab, and I totally forgot. <laughs> I will definitely do that by the next episode, though. Okay, there we go. A little shelf. I like this shelf because of all the slots that it has. All right, there we go. An expanded lab. Very good. She- I'm letting her do whatever she wants for a little bit. She's watching romance and having a PB&J. Mood. So, I think for- yeah, we're gonna be trolling the forums like all day today probably just to get that mischief skill up. That's like the main thing that we need to do, I think. How's our logic skill? Level six. Pretty good. Pretty decent. All right, your fun is all the way up. You're chilling. Let's go ahead, use the potty, and then start trolling the forums at our little desk. I will probably f speed through this. Oh, she's playful, that's great. That's great, that's great. It will aid us in uh, the skill going up faster. I think today is also prank day, and I think we get a boost in our mischief. So we will uh, go out and prank some people as well. Okay, she's almost there. Once she gets there, I'm gonna get her to go to sleep because she's exhausted from trolling the forums all morning. <laughs> all right, time for sleep. Let's go. Let's go to bed. You need it. Her sleep schedule is going to be so off for a few days. Oh, you gotta do what you gotta do though. All right, time for party and then it's dinner. So I'm gonna get her to have Pan fried tilapia. Oh wait, she's a vegetarian, right? Did I already forget that? <laughs> yep. <gasps> Who's this? Pierce Madison? He's like really cute. <laughs> but um, I don't really like prank texts. Okay, anyway, I almost made her eat fish. So let's do, let's just do salad. Oh, you were gonna grill something. What were you gonna grill? Mm. Oh my gosh, let's have elote actually. Elote, excuse me. <laughs> that sounds so good. Corny corns. Grill them corns, girl. Oh yeah. I think we need to give her another hot weather outfit because um, I love this outfit, but I'm tired of seeing it. You good over there? Oh, there's a witch. Is that Mortimer again? Uh, is that Mortimer? Why is he wearing a skirt? Hold up. Oh, no, that's not Mortimer. That's that one guy from, uh, Snowy Escape. Just kidding. All right, go ahead. Grab some. <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh! She did get pregnant from the abduction. You guys! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe that happened. Oh my gosh, who eats a lote with their freaking hands like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, alien. I mean, I know it's not gonna be an alien because 
in the sims you have to have two alien parents to have a complete alien baby but i think they have like some things about them i'm not really 100 percent sure but oh my gosh oh my gosh now we don't even know who the freaking father is so much for having babies with luke they would have had extremely beautiful children all right you feeling better now let's go upstairs and troll the forum some more I was not planning on getting pregnant in this episode. Maybe the next one after we built romance with Luke. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Should Andy be a single mom or should she still pursue Luke and ask him to be a stepdad? Let me know, let me know what you think. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> I just really like taking screenshots, I'm sorry. Oh, dude. Weird tummy ache. Andy isn't feeling so hot. It must be something she ate. Okay, yeah, with a freaking binky uh, emote. Come on. Come on now. What do you have to do? No, no grilled plantains. You grilled elote earlier. Why don't you just have some leftovers? Ooh, we haven't chose her um utensil preference. <sighs> Look, she has a freaking baby bump and we haven't even gotten a notification. Well, since our girl's Japanese, let's use chopsticks as her preferred utensil preference. As her preferred utensil preference. <laughs> as her utensil preference. Uh, let's do either steel or lacquered wood. Hmm. Lacquered wood. Honey, honey, honey. When I said get leftovers, I meant get the freaking elote, not the cupcake. But okay, you do you. I don't mind. Let's just go to bed. I don't want you to be super tired at work and your sleep schedule is all messed up So just 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 go to sleep and I'm glad you had a successful prank day I'm very happy for you, but when are we gonna get the pregante notification? Ooh, ooh, ooh the mail and bills. Oh shoot. We don't have enough money for our bills. Oh Caleb wants to throw us a baby shower, but we don't even know we're pregnant yet We have work. Otherwise, I would totally say yes. Holy crap, we don't have enough money for bills. Ugh, okay. Issue. This is issue. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this ball. I'm gonna sell all of these time capsules because we need the money. Okay, we're almost there. I think after we work today, everything should be fine. <gasps> we got our loot box. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a space loot box. Yay. Exciting. Let's see what we got. Another, like, space-themed photo? Yeah, the space- wait, is this the same thing? Oh no, it's different! <gasps> Cute! Why did we get two space boxes in a row, I wonder? We got a Jonquilist. Um, I don't think we've ever gotten that, so, uh, I think it's kind of cheating if we use it. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, shoot. I'll just leave it there. We got a handiness book. Another one of these space rock things. Oh my gosh, I need another shelf already. <laughs> and another s dead squid thing. Okay, I'm gonna put all of them right here. Okay, well, fantastic. She's happy from getting her loot box. So cute. Dancing? No, honey, I have work soon. Join! Here we go, another day of work. Here we go, another day of work. I wonder if we can share the big news with people yet, since it hasn't even told us that we're pregnant. I wanna tell Alice. Okay, here is her new work outfit. Very, very cute. Love the mint pants. She already has such a massive baby bump. Oh my gosh, that means we need to freaking make a baby room too in the house. I'm overwhelmed. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> oh, Sims. Oh, 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 Sims. All right, let's water a plant. If we can find a plant that needs to be watered. Probably not. Yeah, okay, great. Oh, great. The receptionist. Awkward. Okay, water. What's up, Knox? How you doing? 
let's just go ahead and try to cheer her up a little bit. She's probably feeling sad because we, like, turned down her advances, but... It is what it is. Okay, synthesize tainted serum, synthetic food. Makes it into serum, it wants us to do that. It's okay, Abby. I just, I have a lot going on right now, as you can see. But uh, I still want to be friends, definitely. Okay, things seem to be fine. Dang, she's like, really pretty. Um, what's your name? Monique Peppers. I'm kind of tempted to give her a <laughs> makeover. <laughs> Monique Peppers! Okay, let's ask her for a crystal, since we're gonna be talking to her. Ask her for a medal, um, and gossip about co-workers. Okay, say less. We got a diamond. Thanks, Nox! What are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell us? Oh, he also gave us a death medal. That's what I'm talking about. Chat with Monique Peppers. Oh my gosh! No! Alice just freaking hit on us! Oh my god, why? Why? Why, 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 why? Why do the Sims have to do such awkward things? Sheesh. And we wear bags one, the MPA. Oh my god, everybody's gonna walk around with bags on their heads. Sheesh. What are you happy about? Feeling good from donating to LGBT charity? When did you do that? Good for you. Everything hurts from being pregnant. Okay. So we are pregnant. It's official. We didn't get a notification. But it's official. Alright, we got friggin' promoted, you guys! Andy did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive. We are now a technological innovator, and we make a $72 per hour. We got a cash bonus, a test tube pedestal, new clothes. Awesome. And we got $687. That means we have enough money to pay our bills. Yeah, we do need to fish because we need to find a fish to put in our tank. We could always purchase fish, but I find that catching them yourself is so much more rewarding, you know? Crap, we still don't have enough. Okay, we're gonna have to sell... We're gonna have to sell all these plants in our inventory. Okay, we officially have enough. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> All right, love. Well, you are very hungry. What is this you're doing? Cook? What are you gonna cook, though? Mmm? Mmm? Mmm, garlic noodles. Oh, that sounds amazing. Ooh, caprese salad. Let's do that. Shoot, you got promoted again. Now we have to change your outfit again. Okay. Well, let's go ahead, have a thoughtful shower, try to get a breakthrough. We need to have ten of them. I'm nervous. I wonder if it's gonna be a girl or a boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm so freaking nervous. Y'all know I hope it's a girl, but... Mm. Does that mean she's getting a breakthrough? Are you getting one? Please get one. Yes! Brilliant! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Are there any fishing holes near here? We can catch a fish real quick like... Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's just a light. Fishing hole. Ooh, here's one. Oh my gosh, she's she's huge. I didn't mean to click that, but look at her belly already. Dude, she's gonna pop in any any minute. Okay, what'd we get? A walleye. Okay, well, that's good enough. Let's uh, go back home and put the fish in our tank while I speed up the time. Haha, <laughs> get it? While I. Uh, um, anyway, here you go, fishy. <gasps> there you go, fishy! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I pressed travel again. <laughs> So where are we going to put the kids' room? <laughs> I think we might have to put it here. Oh no, but that's going to mess with the entire outside structure of the house. Okay, guys, shoot. She's freaking pregnant with an alien babe. Oh my gosh, and she's so miserable from being pregnant as well. Oh, you poor thing. Dang it, we didn't get that last breakthrough before work. Oh, whale. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll probably just forward through this work day because I know it can be like really repetitive, but if anything spicy happens, I'll be sure to let y'all know. You guys, okay, so work wants me to contact aliens. <laughs> Andy's probably like, yo, um, I am pregnant after you guys abducted me. What's going on? Who did this? I need answers. I need to know who the child's father is. So let's see if an alien shows up because we contacted aliens and it said that they might show up. Not seeing anything though. Not yet. Wow, we made $1,030 today. Crazy. That is the most we've ever made. She decided to make some almond macaroons all on her own. So I... <laughs> I 100% believe that she is an emotional baker. The last time she baked was when uh, her coworkers died. And now she's pregnant with this alien baby. So she's like, all right, I'm having me some macaroons. Caleb, hey, sir, come on in, man. Come on in. Soy brib. Soy brib, indeed. All right, well, I just had her do a little bit of mischief with Mr. Caleb and she's very hungry even though she just had those almond macaroons. Oh, she didn't finish them. All right, go ahead and finish them and then I'm gonna send you off to bed because you do have work tomorrow. Weird weight gain from funky metabolism, huh? It says, Andy has sure put on a quite a few pounds. Surely this is just a phase. Surely. Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. I'd love to stay and talk, but it's almost eight o'clock and I haven't got the time. I'm having her have some eggs and toast today. Just to switch it up. She's sore from working out. I'm running on the treadmill? Okay, well, while you eat, why don't you just do some channel surfing to get that fun up? And then we gotta go to work and that's it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to have this child at this point. Oh yeah, we should send all of our new stuff to the Geo Council as well. I'm excited. I really hope we're able to complete our elements collection. Oh my gosh, now Alice wants to throw us a baby shower. Why you gotta do it when I have work? I'm sad, that would have been so cute. <gasps> oh, we got a lifestyle gain. Or er, we got a lifestyle. Andy has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle. <gasps> what is this? Sims living in a close-knit lifestyle prefer to form deep connections with a small circle of friends. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, a sim should keep their friend count between one and three sims while seeking to deepen the relationships they do have. Huh. That's pretty cool. And we've got energetic in process as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's that's pretty dang cool. All right, what do we get in the mail? Oh my gosh, we just sent them to the Geo Council this morning and they're already back. Okay, well, let's see if we've got anything new. <gasps> that went in! <gasps> we just need two more. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is so very exciting. I can't believe we need another shelf already. All right, cool. Shelf, more shelves are filled. <laughs> I wish we could do a maternity shoot, but there's no one else in the household that can take a photo of us. But if there's a photo booth, I wonder, can we like ask a Sim to take a photo of us? That would be kind of cool. Oh gosh, you guys, she passed out at work today. Pregnancy is not the best for her, I have to say. Really very sad. Oh, we got a vacation day and another $1,030. Okay, I, I no longer worry about money anymore if we're gonna be making $1,000 every day. Imagine making that much money in real life. Okay, my darling, you are just absolutely just exhausted. That's the word I was looking for, exhausted. <laughs> So go ahead and go non night first and foremost. Oh shoot, you're gonna wake up soon because you gotta go pee. Okay, let's go pee. Oh crap, that means we have to start thinking about names for the baby. This is too much, this is too much. I can't even ask your guys' opinion on a name. Okay, generation two is Rose. Ay ay ay. 
Uh, okay, let's see. Rosa, uh, Romy, Roseanne, Rosemary, Rosanna. Her name's Rosanna. <laughs> If you guys know that reference, let me know in the comments. Um, let's see, what else we got? I like the name Rosalie, oh my gosh, but if it's a boy... <gasps> He's making the first move, you guys, I'm so happy! This is random, but I'm attracted to you, Andy, and I don't want to just be another friend of yours, I want to be more... He doesn't know that we're currently pregante, though. But let's just tell him we feel the same way, because we do. And look at that. We have a little tinge of pink now. <laughs> That's so exciting. Oh my gosh. She is just abnormal changes to body from unknown terrifying reasons. Something is definitely not right. Andy's changing body has left her quite suspicious. <gasps> you don't say! <laughs> You don't freaking say. Okay, we do have work today. Um, my goodness. I guess let's just have... What do we want to have this morning? Let's just have yogurt. Oh crap, our fridge broke. <sighs> Replace. Good thing these are cheap. <laughs> oh honey. Your outfits do not suit pregnancy. CC quality has left the chat. It is so hard to do good at work right now because of her freaking mood. She's just always very, um, very uncomfortable. She is currently inventing the cloning machine. That's pretty exciting. I wonder what we gonna be able to clone. Oh my gosh, we did it. Invented a cloning machine. Andy invented a cloning machine. What can she clone? Drag the cloning machine off the invention constructor and then drag things onto it and select clone object. Okay, probably can't clone Sims then. But let's see. Let's see, let's see. What do we want to clone in our inventory? This is worth 168. So let's see if we can clone this. Oh my gosh, we can. Can we do it again? <gasps> What's gonna prevent us from becoming rich off of these jets? Oh shoot, it didn't work. Okay, what else is in our inventory that's worth a bunch of money? Not much. <laughs> I guess we can try this again. Dude, nice. Okay, it wants us to clone a plant, but none of these plants are ready to be harvested. They're never ready to be harvested for some reason. But let's go ahead and work on the rocket for 10 minutes. A cloning machine. Very, very exciting. All right, work day is done. We didn't do very good today because we were so uncomfortable. I wonder what trimester we're in. Usually we're able to like hover over the moodlet and see what trimester we're in, but not with this alien pregnancy. We're definitely gonna keep playing until she has the kid because I don't wanna leave a massive cl cliffhanger like that for you guys. <laughs> that would be cruel and unusual of me, wouldn't it? All right, girl, finish that elote and then let's head off to bed. Do we have work tomorrow? We do. Tomorrow is Friday, so it's gonna be our last day, which is nice. Very, very nice. Oh my gosh. 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 She's in labor. <gasps> she is in labor. I can't even believe it. Want to go dancing with me? Honey, no. No, not even a little bit. Okay, we're definitely having this baby at the hospital. And we're joining her because this, this is a monumental day. Oh my gosh, who do we bring? Alice, of course, because <laughs> there's no baby daddy. Therefore, best friend. Oh crap, names y'all, I don't know. I like Rosemary. How do you guys feel about Rosemary? Oh no. Rosario for a, for a boy. Rosalie Primrose. I've always loved that name so much. But what about for boys though? Rosario's like the only one that I like even a little bit. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, a ghost is delivering our alien baby. This Let's Play, I swear, it's very strange. Lots of supernatural stuff going on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? <gasps> it's a freaking girl. It's a freaking girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with Primrose. It was between that and Rosemary. But I'm thinking Primrose. Okay. I can't believe it! We're already on second gen! Well, not technically because we haven't completed mint gen for yet, but... <gasps> Holy cannoli! Okay, this generation 2, let me read you a little, uh, the little thing about it. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Her traits are going to be hot-headed, snob, and romantic. Her aspiration is serial romantic, and her career is a politician. The rules for this generation. Have only one child. Master the politician career and complete the serial romantic aspiration. Master the charisma skill. Leave someone at the altar. Get married for the first time as an elder. Get married for the first time as an- Oh, okay, I see, I see. So we need to leave someone at the altar and not get married, and then get married, actually get married as an elder. Fun! Very fun. I really hope that other people that play this challenge on YouTube have not used this name. I haven't watched any of them, and I don't want you guys to feel like I'm like ripping someone off. I just really like this name. So here we go. Primrose Berry has been born. Dude, I swear if we had twins. <gasps> oh my gosh, she has an alien onesie. I wonder what kind of special power she's gonna have. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She has what? Why does it have pointy ears? Or is it just me? I cannot believe this freaking happened. I just can't believe it. This is just wild. Absolutely insane. <laughs> okay. So, we have $3,000. Where's the baby at? <gasps> Look at this bassinet. Holy... Sent to homeworld? No! No, 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 no. No. Mm-mm. We are going to love this child with everything. Oh man. Does motherhood suit you, Miss Barry? This gen does want the best for her and her family, so. I am still, I just, I can't get over it. I'm still in shock that we have an alien baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What is this? She's dot 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 cute? Oh my god. It's weird. Like, when I had a baby with an alien in my Mystical Motherhood series, I didn't have all this fancy stuff. It must be because she got abducted. It's really cool. Alright, well, let's take care of our needs. Oh shoot, the baby. Crying already. I said that we would keep playing until she had the baby. However, we are going to keep playing until the baby ages up into a toddler. And we're going to do the toddler makeover because, oh my gosh, exciting. Am I right? Do we have work today? We do. Mm -hmm. We should probably go because I have a feeling we're going to get a promotion today. Otherwise, I would have stayed home with the babe. But yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. Alien affirmation, classified top secret. This document records the birth of a child, a child of strange origins. Maybe not from this world. In a functional frame, the certificate shows the date, place, and the doctor that delivered the child. This has never happened to me before in The Sims, you guys, so this is all very new. 
and I'm so stoked. I am so stoked. Although I would have loved her and Luke to have babies, but it is what it is, you know? All right, time for work. Alien baby goes to daycare. <laughs> Well, let's get today's today done. Let's get that pr 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 promotion. Oh, here's the dead coworker graveyard. Rest in peace. Okay, um, so it wants us to chat with Alice. Okay. I don't know why she rocked up in her hospital gown. Like, maybe we should change. Oh my gosh, you guys, we dug up a voodoo doll. Yes, that's so perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Okay, we got a butt ton of <laughs> new elements, which is really exciting. And our workday is almost over and we got a promotion, you guys. Holy cannoli, two promotions in one episode. We are now a U UFOologist, ufologist? Hmm. We will now make $102 an hour. We received a cash bonus, a cautionary tail door, and an X180 shatterproof window. And we made less than we normally do. That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. But okay. I'll take that promotion though. So we are now level six. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm very excited. Okie dokie, back home. Where is our little bean? Where is our little primrose? Spend some time with her. It's okay, don't cry. D -d 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 don't cry, don't cry. Do you want to hang out tonight? Where though? We have a newborn baby. We can't be going out to nightclubs. I'm sorry, we just can't. Oh shoot, Luke wants to come over. Okay, yeah, you can meet- you can meet our babe. Um, let's go ahead and switch out of our- Switch out of our work outfit. Let's put on... Let's put on something casual. Go downstairs, vitamin. Come in, come in, sir. We'll introduce him to the baby as well. Oh, okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. Where's he going? I think he's going straight to our computer. Okay, can we show off? Yeah, we can. Show off to Luke. Let's see what he does. Hey there, sir! Oh no, you're gonna show him off to him while, while she's very stinky? Okay, here we go. So, crazy story! I got abducted by aliens, and... Here's Primrose! I got pregnant while I was abducted, and this is what came out. He does not seem impressed. What is he thinking about, I wonder? Anything? You got anything to say? Okay. Oh crap, she started her period. Well, I guess we can go downstairs and serve some dinner for us. We can have butternut gnocchi. <laughs> It's Friday. Let's go a little crazy, you know? Make some dinner for you and Luke. I wonder. I wonder if he would be open to being a stepdad. Oh, gross. You got it on your Yeezys. Oh, they're eating on the couch together. Aw. Okay, hold up. What are you guys watching? Nothing. Okay, let's put on... Let's put on the romance channel and see what transpires. I hope that was the right word. <laughs> eee, this is so cute! Oh. Oh, is he venting to her? Oh, that synchronized eating. You guys are one. You are together as one. Hehe, <laughs> very cute. Oh, is he leaving? Okay, bye sir. Thank you for having dinner with us. I guess putting romance on the television did not, didn't do anything. I just got a notification that it's almost Primrose's birthday as well. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow we can age her up. That's very exciting. She's almost got a uh, level six mischief. So if she does that, we'll be level six mischief, level six logic, and 
level six in our career and we will continue this this tier of our aspiration okay yeah we definitely need to keep going i don't i i, I really want her and luke to be together but at the same time like would she really be pursuing love with a newborn baby maybe she would wait until primrose is a child i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments because i can't decide she's almost level six you got this Groyal. keep on going Bada bing, bada boom! No, Luke, we have a newborn. We can't. So what's next? Clog drains at three different homes. Perform voodoo five times. Okay, good thing we have a voodoo doll. So we can... Oh, okay. All right, well, let's go to sleep because we need it. We can do the voodoo stuff later. I'm having her take another thoughtful shower. So hopefully we can have a breakthrough again because we need to have one more for work. She has not been able to rest at all no dude no 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 this is alice's husband sorry but you're my best friend's husband that is so not happening sir so not happening romance festival alice no you have a husband you really shouldn't be going either <laughs> come on did they get a divorce i seriously because she was sad no they're still married hmm Oh, Andy, I had a very strange dream about you last night. We were at a party and you kept ignoring me. I went up to you and tried waving in your face, but it was like you couldn't see me. Was I invisible? Why didn't you see me? Be nice. It's your best friend. That makes me feel better about it. You're a good friend. Thanks. Of course, Alice. Anything for you. I wonder, should we tell Alice about what, er about what Eric said? We should invite her over because she hasn't met Primrose yet. And we should probably tell her about her philandering husband, even though she did flirt with us at work that one day. But that's nothing compared to Eric going out of his way to send us a text that he likes us as more than a friend. Awkward. So awkward. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and tell her. Because that's what a good friend does, right? That's what a good friend does. Oh, shoot. Alice and Luke are both here. I, I didn't invite you, Luke. But if you want to come in, you totally can. But I need to tell Alice something first. Okay, it should be other other Sims. No, 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 no. Maybe it's under the mean category? Other Sims. Oh, break up with. Hmm, maybe we should trash talk him first. It's not technically trash talking. It's kind of just like telling her what the heck happened. Hopefully Alice doesn't take it the wrong way. Um, like in The Sims, like, because we're trash-talking her husband. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, Alice, I have something to tell you. Your husband texted me and said that he has feelings for me. He wants to be more than a friend. How do you feel about it? That sounds terrible. I'll talk to Eric myself. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Well, we won't tell you to break up with him just yet. We will uh, let you guys try and work it out first. And it, But if she comes back to us and says, you're right, Eric is horrible, then we know. But we'll see. Let's also show the baby off to Alice. Wow, she's got some really good moodlets going on. Good for you. Hey, Alice, come up here. This is Primrose. She's like, wow, nice place. I haven't been up here yet. Okay, this is my baby that I was telling you about. Show her! Oh my god, stop flirting! Are you freaking serious? I hate you guys. Okay, where are you going? Investigate weird light? What? What do you mean? What weird light? What is happening? Where- Don't get abducted again. Oh my- I swear, if she gets pregnant again, <laughs> mind freaking blown. Oh my gosh. Alice, thank you so much for watching the baby. Can you please take care of her? She's crying. Do you not have a maternal bone in your body? Are you, are you admiring our art? Oh yes, that, that's an expensive piece right there from from 
Pascal Maroni. Yeah, we purchased them at his art show. Please tell me you're going to take care of the babe. Okay, you're not. You're just... Are you admiring more of our art? Oh my gosh, you are. Is she an art lover? Why do I feel like she might be? She's not, but she's creative, so I guess that makes sense. Alice, the baby's crying! Can you please help her? Can you change her diaper? Please? We're currently being abducted. She's just obsessed with our art. <sighs> Dude, I swear. Yeah, okay, goodbye. But our baby, though. She's not being sent to daycare? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, three times? I thought this was only our second time. Is your belly glowing? <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Oh my freaking god. Dude. Dude. That is... I am shook right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and age up Bean because it is her birthday today. Give her a makeover and that will be it for this episode, but... Dude. Senior pollination technician number three has sent Primrose a gift. Well, that's sweet. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what to do for toddler trait, so I'm just gonna randomize it. Independent! My favorite one because they can go potty by themselves. All right, love. Oh my gosh, she has red hair. It was meant to be a rosy generation. Oh my, oh God, she's, she's kind of creepy. She has elf ears and weird green eyes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. I, I'm tripping right now. I cannot believe this is happening. Oof. Okay. Okay. Primrose, you are an alien. Holy crap, I didn't know that was possible to have an alien baby with a human mom. Those are some interesting eyes. Let's take all this nonsense off. Okay, she's actually cute. I am so glad that she aged up with red hair, though. That means we can give her red hair. And... It's just a normal thing, you know? Okay, this is what I have so far. I just gave her skin details and I switched her brows and gave her lashes. She is so cute. What a darling little alien baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's find her a hair. This is really cute. I At first I was like, ugh, about her ears, but maybe we should embrace them, you know? Just embrace everything that's special about her. You guys, I'm obsessed with her. Oh, the head. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna go with this hair. It's just too cute. It was between this one and... Where is it? I actually really love this as well. I just think it's so cute on her. So cute. And then the ponytail as well. They're all good options. All right, you guys. I gave her a couple of outfits. This is her first one. I thought this was cute because it's like the rose overalls with a little bit of mint there because Andy's dressing her. I put these little cute bear shoes on her. And then her second outfit, I just changed into her into this, like, red dress. You guys, she is the cutest bean, is she not? Oh, I love her so much. I still have to do her alien form and give her... Give her all her other outfits, but I think I'm gonna do that off camera. Wait a minute. Oh, so this is her alien form. 
And oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I should sw switch it around then. Okay, there we go. So this is her disguise. I guess I need to make her alien form like a little bit more weird unless her eyes just change. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something fun. So I'll show you guys in the next episode, but I'm gonna leave this part right here because I've been recording for quite some time. I am seriously shook about what happened in this episode. It is not what I had planned for Andy, but... I honestly love it when this happens in challenges. It's it's a surprise and it spices things up and it keeps me on my toes as well. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think Luke and Andy's situation would be. <laughs> if she should raise Primrose as a single mom or if her and Luke should get together and he could be like her stepdad of sorts. I cannot believe she's pregnant again as well from an alien abduction. She's gonna have two alien babies from two different aliens. I'm just, wow. Just wow. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be Legacy Challenge, I'm pretty sure, so that's exciting. <laughs> All right, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.